Hey guys, Joshua Godamu here, and today I'm showcasing a whole bunch of simple and a little more complicated Zaku 2 MSIA mods for your version 1. Simple ones first, um, you can make the skirt a whole lot more flexible by taking a hobby knife and cutting slits along the lines. This will make it more like the version 2s and the extendeds. Second mod is to punch a hole right there. There's already a hole... Um, mark right there, and that way he can carry his heat hawk or two heat hawks on the other side. Other modifications that are very easy is to give it Zaku 1 flexibility in its in its shoulders. The Zaku 1 had much better ball joints and uh, had a whole lot more flexibility. And so what I've done to these figures, and the genius of this goes to my wife, is to cut a tiny piece of plastic, and you can almost see it in there. And that tiny piece of plastic just goes into the shoulder. You can take a spare MSIA part or a broken MSIA part. Just cut, shave off a little piece of plastic. Stick it in there. And it's awesome. And then Gundam Origin, we see these missile shields. And so that's what we have here. Just two spare Zaku 2 uh, missile pods. Especially if you have two for the same leg. But you don't have their counterpart, which sometimes happens because your kid brother swallowed one of them and never gave it back. Not that you wanted it back, but you know what I mean. So, you can put those to use by making a missile shield like you see in Gundam Origin. Another simple mod, which uh, can be quite handy, is the Zaku 1 shield can sometimes lose its ball jointed handle. But a Burning Gundam's hand cover um, cut off the finger pieces. And you can just super glue that on there. It's nearly the same blue. You could also paint it black. But uh, it gives you a replacement for your Zaku 1 shield handle. Which is pretty important because what good is a Zaku 1 shield without a handle? Another mod that's a little more complicated is there are variations of the Zaku 2's head. And so we see one here. And all I did was I took a Bolt Gundam's leg cover which has these sort of cables on it and this is what that cable used to be and so I cut it with my hobby knife and I glued it here on the head and then took a little point and made rivets actually my wife did that part and then painted it a similar green and so we have a variation of the Zaku head that's a legitimate variant Another modification you can make is to the shoulder. Sometimes in the games you'll see Zaku 1 shoulders or Zaku 1s with these shoulders or a Zaku 2. This appears at the beginning of Gundam Cross. No. Yes, the Zaku 1s in Gundam Crossfire have this shield or the shoulder. Also, the one of the Zakus in the opening movie of Gund Gundam Journey to Jaburo for the PS2. And basically the points of the spikes have come out. And so there's, you just cut off the spikes, and you take some kind of drill or something, and you drill in. And that kind of shows where the spikes used to embed into the shoulder. And I took just a little bit of black paint and stuck it in there just to, you know, make it not look so plasticky. And so then you have an actual variation of the shield. Or the shoulder. Sorry about that. Another mod that you can make is some of the more advanced Zaku 2s, like the F2s and others have little thrusters here. Now, in the MSIA version, we only got one version. In, even for all th I think maybe the version 2 has some of those, or Shars does. And I can't recall for sure. Either way, the MSA version 1 did not. I took these little thrusters from the shoulders of a Buster gun... No, not Buster. Um, Maxter. Gun the Maxter. And I just took a little drill, drilled into the backpack, and so now he's a little bit more advanced. More like the Zaku 2 F2. Here I was building a uh, <coughs> a rocket like you see in 0083. The Zakus that attack in the desert had these rocket boosters. Unfortunately, it wouldn't stay glued. So, But I took the part 180 millimeter cannons always lose their end piece. So this is the middle piece of the 180 millimeter cannon, which I had way tons of, and just a random thruster and I glued on the end. Not necessarily sure I recommend this one, as it didn't really stick, but there it is. The Zaku 2 F2s had thrusters right here. Unfortunately, our American release ones came with, you know, the J-type. Or, or were mostly um, just standard Zaku 2s, and they had these little thrusters here. 
and there were no variations of that. And so I just drilled in and embedded two thrusters to make it more like the F2. And this one didn't look as good as some of my other mods, so I'm not sure I'll repeat it, but it is doable. And so, you know, if I were to give him the backpack and these leg thrusters, that would effectively make this Aku 2 an F2 version. Well, these are some of the mods that I've come up with for the MSA's Aku 2 version 1s. If you've come up with any, please write them down below. I'd love to hear them. Hope you enjoyed the video, and please like, favorite, and subscribe as I post a new video nearly every day. And please check out our eBay store. There's a link down below in the more info area. We have all kinds of cool toys there. Sometimes stuff I review ends up there as well. Catch you guys later.